Hello everyone, it's me JPC Blank and today we're going to be doing a review of the Come on, focus on it. On the online slope fountain pen. This pen is in the color peach. It has a plastic resin body, a nice tight cap, you can hear it. Nice. Um this this is also resin, this is not metal. Um, no, this this part is metal, but this part is resin. And this tip is the is dirty, but you know that's just my life. This is a fine tip. Um, I thought about getting the extra fine, but this is just the fine. I'm not sure if it'll focus enough so that you can see the little F on it. Oh yeah, there it is. Little F, little F. Let's see how close I can get. There it is. There it is, see the F? Okay, yeah, it's dirty, but like I said, that's just my life. So this fountain pen I bought for myself, I bought it for a Christmas present for myself because um, my Jin Hao 599 died. Oh, it's over here. The, the first one I bought, um, it didn't exactly die, it just, it was leaking, okay? Like, remember I was talking about how it's just leaked all the time? Well, it started getting worse, and every time I would open it, there would just be giant droplets of ink, and then inside the cap, there would always be ink, and then if I opened this, there would be ink, and I would take this off, and I would take it off. <sighs> And there would just be ink on the converter every single time. So I was, I knew there was something wrong with it. And I checked and there's like a very small, very difficult to see imperfection in the converter. And it just was causing all the problems. But I also found that there are cracks in the part of the pen where it meets the nib. And that's causing like the internal pressure to not be good and that's why I was having so many leaking problems uh, but and so I was like I, I need a new pen I need a pen that's actually you know a good pen and so I, I don't use this one anymore because it just it doesn't work now with the rose I think this is this color is called I think this is rose the rose pen I was using for my purple ink which is for all of my, for anything that has to do with like witching or crafting. This is the Monteverde Purple Mist ink. So this is the ink that I was using for that. So you can see it doesn't have, I haven't used it a lot, but mostly because of the leaking in the pen, I didn't want to use a lot of my purple ink. And then for every uh, everything else that I was writing, I was using my Monteverde Rose Pink, which is probably my favorite color ink. I love this ink so much. I love it so much. It's so pretty. It's girly. I love it. It's my favorite. Um, but um, Goulet Pens was having a sale for on the online slope, slope pen particularly that came with a free uh, bottle of ink. A free bottle of Monteverde ink. And since Monteverde is my, well, I would say favorite, but it's actually the only ink that I own and I was like yeah ink awesome and it said 90 milliliters and I and I said to myself well these are 30 so 90 is more that's great but I didn't realize that 90 meant this <laughs> meant that it was the size of a perfume bottle so I have ink for the next 20 years <laughs> so that's great and so i bought the pen in color peach and so this now has my main ink which is actually this which is purple rain so this is the multivated purple rain ink and i chose purple rain particularly because it's more of a pinkish purple and not a super purple and purple mint is more mist is a more of a purple purple which i like and and so i'm still using purple mist but i'm using my rose gold Jinhao 599 metal version. I mean, this is a much better pen than 
than this one. Actually, I think this pen is probably even better than this one, if I'm being honest. Like, this one... This has been a good pen ever since I bought it. You know, I've had no leaks. I've had no problems. There's only, there's only this little weird thing it's got going on where somehow ink ends up inside. And I can't do anything about that. I can't get that out. I can't get that out. And I don't know. Like, I've taken the pen apart. I've... I uh, tried to get water in there, trying to clean it, and I can't. I can't. Um, I don't know. It's weird. So this is my my witchy, crafty, all of that stuff pens. If I want to sketch, I'll use this pen, and this one has uh, purple mist in it. So that, and then so this is a review of this. I don't know why I keep talking about my other pens, but. We're talking about this pen. So this pen, it's a really light. This one is heavier. So this one's really light and it's actually pretty tough. Um, when I got it from Goulet, I'm gonna insert some pictures. It had, you know, it comes, it came in the box. It had the Tootsie Pop, which I ate and the big, the big bottle of ink. And so this pen, it has a nice rubbery grip. It's not super rubbery, but just rubbery enough so that it's kind of, it's not super squish. It's not squish, but it's it's grippy is what it is. And so um right now this has purple rain in it and the lines it gives are nice nice lines. Um let me move you guys so that you can get a better look at what's going on because you're really far. Okay, how's that look? Does it look good? I think so. Okay, so. I'm right handed, so you're going to have to see the flip so down. So, um, the way it writes is actually pretty smooth. The only thing is, I and I think this is human error, but sometimes like it skips and I also want to talk about a little something that I noticed when I took it out of the box where is it where is it not oh, here okay um you see that scratch I'm not sure if you can see it very well but that scratch right there ignore how ugly my nails are that scratch right there is actually not my fault it came like that and I threw away the box already, but on the box it has this just line like from a box cutter. So I think that this pen in particular was probably on the top of the box and it got cut by the by a box cutter. Like that doesn't affect the the functionality of the pen or anything. It's just something that I noticed happened to my pen. So, you know, that happens. Okay, so let's write the basic Mm. The quick, quick, did you see that? The quick brown fox jump de over the lazy dog. Okay, so here you can see the color of the ink and you can also see where it skipped a little bit here on the brown on the B Where it it just didn't write when it was going up and I'm not sure why the pen does that I honestly think that it's it's me because if I hold it a different way Then it it will behave But it's a very specific way. I have to hold it and so if I hold it like when I write normally or maybe I just have to write like straight like this like this no no less let's write upside down why can't I, I keep forgetting the eye
It works upside down. Maybe, maybe it's not in completely. Okay, gotta get my hands dirty. Let's open her up. <laughs> Our answer. I have no. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention, and now here I am trying to make a video, and I don't have any ink. Okay, <laughs> that explains it some, but it actually it's been it always skips unless it's completely completely fresh. So maybe I just need to make sure I have a lot of ink in it. But um, the converter is real pretty, and I. Very nice. Let me fill this up and then we'll continue with the review. Okay, so while I was inking up, using of course my giant bottle of ink, I noticed that there's something that, probably something that does bother me about the pen, but I think that's just the way the pen is, is that there's no snap when you put the cartridge, the converter in it. it's in there I know it's in there if I tug it doesn't come out but there's no snap no snap at all so I don't feel like it's secure I know that's probably not true it's probably very secure because no ink has ever come out of it since I put it in but it it just doesn't feel you know I like a good snap you know that's just me I like it to give me a snap so that I know it's in there, right? Like, with a cap, you put it on, snap! You know it's on, you know it's good, you know it's not gonna be flying off. I think this pen has a snap. When you put in the converter, let me check. Make the ink go down, cause you don't want it all over your hands. Let's see. Yep. Very soft snap, but there's a snap. So, I just like me a good snap. So let's see if it was the ink. Yeah, look how juicy that is. Can you see how juicy? Let's look at juicy. Get up a little bit. Juicy. Juicy. That's some juicy ink. Look at that. Big old drops. So I think that all of my problems that I've been having for the past week are because it had no ink. Make sure your pan is nice and inked up, people. Um, but let's just... So writing with it is great. It's got a good weight. It's, it's tough. I've dropped it already and it's fine. Um, I just toss it in my purse and I take it to work. It's great. I don't take this one to work because I don't use do craft stuff for anything at work. I use it in the morning and in the evening, and that's all I use this one for. Uh, I sometimes use it when I'm doing uh, in my witch journals. I write with this one, but this is my everyday pen. So I write my journal entries, my daily journal entries with this, and we're talking full pages of entries. So I have to write down that I changed ink. Um... But, uh, so something else about the pen that I thought would be a good thing to talk about, um, before, you know, I end this, uh, would have to be the feedback. I know a lot of people find feedback, uh, really important when it comes to pens. This pen, it has feedback. You can feel it. Not sure if you can hear that. Let's get you closer. Whoa, baby. So this pen has good feedback, but it doesn't feel scratchy, which is something I really like. I don't like pens that are scratchy. 
um, my Jin Hao is also not scratchy. Jin Hao, this Jin Hao is actually smoother when it comes to writing than, than this one. This one doesn't feel as much like it's just gliding across the page. This has feedback. You can feel the texture of the page. Um, unlike this one that just kind of glides over it like glass. So if you like a pen with feedback, this is a good pen. It doesn't feel scratchy. It has texture, I think is what I would say. Okay, so real quick, final thoughts because my camera's dying. So this pen is a really good pen. It's a really good starter pen. Um, it's a really good pen if you're trying to ease your way into some more expensive pens. Um, eventually I'm hoping to get more expensive pens, but this is like a step forward. Um, when I bought this, this was $24 and it came with a free bottle of ink. Come on camera, you can do it. Um, so uh, right now on goulaypens.com, this pen is $24, but it does not come with the ink. Uh, that was a like a after Christmas sale. It does come with the converter and it comes with the, the standard, the ink cartridge and um, it's blue and I don't really like blue ink but I'm thinking about using this in the pen anyway just so that I can have probably an extra converter that I want to use up this blue ink and then use this as a converter kind of I just need to get like a, a needle to put the ink in here but uh, that's the idea because I have heard that these actually have a good snap and you know I like me a good snap so if this has a good snap then I'm going to use this instead of the converter it comes with even though the converter it comes with is probably what you should use but I really like this pen I feel like it was a very good purchase and I'm so glad that Instagram showed me the sale when it did and now I have it and I love it and the Tootsie Pop was really good so if you're thinking about getting this pen I actually you know it's a good pen not a high-end pen it's a good tough work pen I would call this a work pen if you want something elegant I don't think this is the pen you want it's just this is something for everyday use this is the workhorse <laughs> probably i'm not sure i've only had it for about a month so um if anything happens i'll be sure to let you guys know the same as i did with this pen which me which you haven't gotten updates so that means nothing has happened so 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 far this pen is the same as when i first got it so that's a good thing i've had this pen for four or five months I think so it's still really good we'll see how it is next year uh so that is my like quick amateur review of this pen I kind of wish I had more experience with fountain pens to actually give you a good like solid you know knowledgeable review but this is a real people I'm not sure what I'm doing but I like this pen review so so my rating is it's a good pen it's better than a gin hao is what I'm saying I, I really feel like this is sturdier uh, German made right there it says online Germany <laughs> so this is a German brand and so yeah if you want like more information on like where this pen originates and stuff like that Gulate Pens has a video just on the online brand so you can go and watch that because well meh so it's worth it it's worth the $24 if that's the price it is that's the price of it as of right now recording so
Hello.